Right then, so next step will be the wiring. So I thought I might as well just make a start on this. So I want to try and put all the like I've just moved the fuse box in here because that was like out here somewhere. So move that to inside here. I've removed one of the uh, HT cables. I'm gonna keep this one, just tape it up somewhere and tuck it somewhere. I'm just thinking, can I make this into a little box? Like if I take out all, if I take out the box, can I then like put stuff in there, or weld something in there to keep it um, like an airtight box or something, like a little waterproof container? Just so I can get the electrics in there maybe? Well, I can't really make it airtight, can I? Because how do I get the electrics in there? Hmm. I've tried to wire these ones in, but these ones are too, like the cable won't reach unless I do some massive, oops, massive rejiggering. So I might, I don't know if I can make like a little box thing for this or something, just so it doesn't get wet. Um, but I could use this, the battery tray, and use that. I think this is where the toolbox is meant to go in here, but this has got a hollow back. Um, this is a hollow thing in here, so I think this is meant to be a toolbox. Um, yeah, can I get rid of this? Can I delete the this and just have a smaller box, maybe? It's all experimenting. It's all experimenting. I've rewired stuff through here because it was all outside, so I've put some stuff through here. I'm going to undo all of this at some point and re-put it all through here. Just to get my soldering iron to... Uh, these these are okay, but they don't always hold. Um, as you can see here, it's actually one of them's come undone, but so I need to redo that. So I've got all these electronics out. Now that's where the air filter is going to go. Oh, and because of, uh, I'm just trying to put the air filter on now, to see if it'd fit. And the choke um, bit here is actually in the way, so I might have to get some sort of extender to bring this out or something. I'm not sure what I can do here actually. What are we doing? What are we doing? Why are we having custom bikes? Why should we just... We should just leave them as... As the manufacturer intended. Okay, so... Using the power of wedging and cramming. It's on, but my choke will probably not work. Or if I do activate the choke, I'll have to come back here and manually push it down. It's a project bike. We are going to experience a lot more problems than this. All tight on, yep. Got some spinning action going on, I think that's normal though. Yeah, that looks quite cool actually. I like that. I like that. Right, let's sort these wires out. Uh, let's clean this box up. Look at what we got here, more frayed wires. Oh yes! Right, so, I'm going to try and make this into a box. So I've just taken up a load of the big surface rust. Just a bit of it left. Maybe I'll paint it with some hammer right. I want to try and weld a, yeah, the back panel on there. Try to wait for stuff to come. So that's sort of ready now. Might just paint it with a load of hammer right or something. I was about to rebuild this brake actually now that I think about it, because, well, to probably rebuild this brake. Uh, new piston, lovely. Oh, I've got a new rubber washer. A couple of new rubber washers actually. It's interesting because I don't really feel that many. Uh oh. This piston's different. Not by much, but it is different. Is this going to cause issue? Eh. Guess we shall find out. So. So it turns out that I believe I did order the right part for my bike um, but my bike is actually running a front brake off perhaps a slightly different version of a Honda CB250. Uh, the starter coil that is on my bike right now is off a Honda CB250 RS and I believe it's a 125cc model but it still sparks it and it still runs it so I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, the exhaust and loads of other bits, so that's why I just carried to press on and see if this piston would fit. There's the piston in there, and there's the brake pads. I can barely 
I won't be. I, but I wouldn't be able to get. Can I even get this pair of scissors in between? I can just about get the. How's a disc meant to get in between there? How's a disc meant to get between these two? Uh, they can't. I can't. I literally cannot get anything between them. I just have a different front brake. I was toying with that idea in the first place. How incredibly annoying that that isn't going to fit. Blast. To be honest, I took it all apart again. Got this piston out. So, it's the right width and everything. Just the wrong height. So the, the height's incorrect. So, I will have to find another piston. It's really annoying. Really annoying, because that is... Unless maybe I take a hacksaw and saw off the top of a piston, but somehow I think that's not quite right. And when it comes to front brakes, I think I should get the right stuff for it. Right, let's see if I can get just the piston. I don't want a rebuild kit, the rubbers are all fine. And the rebuild kit's 50 quid. <laughs> I could just get a new, rear, a new front brake. Anyway, let's have a look, see if I can find a piston. Right, so that's what it should be. So, what's that, 46? 43, what's that? Yeah. So that's 43 millimetres. Yep, that's correct. And the height needs to be 38. Yep, that's correct. Fine. So this is the one I need. Cool. Oh, a seller I've already bought from. That's nice. Free postage. How very nice. Limited quantity remaining. Right, that's all I need. See, now, I bought this kit... And they gave me this one. It's too long. I wonder if I can send this one back. Yep, these look like they're going to match. Same height and everything. That's good. Right, so let's get rid of him. Let's rebuild this brake. And so that should be alright. Okay, so let's uh now there's that banjo bolt. Banjo bolt. Let's see if we can actually get some pressure in the uh in the lines. Right. Oh, hello cat. Suckers on the disc. Look at that, we're on fine. Cool. Right, that was easy. Right. Everything up. Now, is this brake cable going to be long enough? Oh no, it's not. That seems to be interesting. I'm going to redo this brake cable. It's not long enough. It doesn't reach. It is it is so close? It's it's about that too short. It is. I've got another brake cable here, but I don't want to use it. I'd rather use uh, this one because it's, uh, it's a braided steel cable. It's actually quite nice. Okay, let's get that one. Little tie in there. It's all loose at the moment because there's no pressure in there. It's not holding to the. Right, so I think now that I've got it undone, I've got to feed this a, a way through where it's not going to have any issues. I think just back straight up the headlight, no, go back and round. See if this master cylinder works. Okay. Oh, well, it's not completely dry. It's got some in there. Now, this is just some 
brake fluid which has been open for a while so I'm going to use this. I will give it a full bleed before I, you know, ride it or whatever. But this is just some old stuff. Just so I can... Let's keep these bars straight. Let's keep them there anyway. It's better. Um, this is some old stuff just so I can at least put something in there. Test it. Probably be lots of air in the line to begin with, so this will take. This might take a, a long time. Nothing yet. Let's see if I can get pressure with that then. Oof. Put that stuff in there. Yes, front brake's working. Right, so front brake, I can pull back worryingly far but this is just the start starters with and it's very spongy there's a massive it should activate about here but it's a massive sponge zone right about there uh what's it okay good it's got fluid in it still um probably fed up probably needs topping up again in there but i'm going to try and get rid of all the air there's probably a load of air in there still that should get rid of a lot of it when I'm bleeding brakes, I do this anyway. Uh, I often leave my brakes on for. Oh, the zip tie's not going to hold it, is it? Wow, okay, it's more pressure than I thought. Okay, almost there. Right, so that will keep the whole thing under pressure. And now force any air, hopefully up to the top here and then out and gone so i'll just leave that on now it's under quite a bit of pressure actually but it shouldn't be that far back um i'll have to adjust and play around with that but at least i've got a working front brake so the front brake's just on now and i'll just leave that for a couple of days to uh get rid of the thing i always do that after i service bikes but especially after you do a rebuild you really have to uh I get the air out of that line because there was nothing that line the the system was completely dry well it took a while but I finally got a new front um, brake all done all fed through all sort of working just got to finish that bit off and that's it right on to the next job I'll do that for another video